Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Zanny Cakes, titled Wanted. Artist to do free work for my movie. Reward? Hard work. Artists wanted. Looking for some help with designs for an upcoming movie. Number one, need artwork for a military unit patch? Unit is ultra elite, off the books, specializing in assassination. Will also be used as a face tattoo, so outlines shouldn't be real complex. Was thinking along the lines of the Grim Reaper. Number two, looking for design help for an alien weapon. Rifle size, but should not look anything like a human weapon. Would be energy discharge, so no rifle barrels. Has to be something I can build. Payment? It's for a film. Hard work is its own reward. You need to make this shareable. Beggar replied, but we don't know what it says. Can you clarify on that last part about payment? No money for artwork, just film credit. I was taught as a child that hard work was its own reward, meaning take pride in the job you do because your satisfaction is your payment. <laughs> The bottom line is, is if somebody is donating their time to you and, uh, I don't know, performing a service for you, the least you could do is offer them payment outside of just credits in a movie. This next one is by What Am I, A Tailor? titled, Choosing Beggar Doesn't Appreciate Firefighters Saving His Property. Beggar doesn't recommend fire and rescue NSW station. Bloody cowboys. Arrogant. Rude. Not recommended at all. I'm sure if they see this and you ever need to dial them again, they're gonna put you very last on the list. This next one is by New Newt One titled Ultimate Choosing Beggar Here. Babysitter needed $100. Looking for babysitter to come to my two bedroom condo from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Location just off the DVP in Ingleton. Two girls, six and two, both well-behaved and polite. Must provide food, vegan organic food only. Must be smoke-free. Must submit to criminal background check. Will pay $5 upon clean record. Don't ask me to pay for the check. Women only. Must work weekends with no notice. Price listed is weekly. After six months, if we're still conducting business, wages will go up to $150 a week. No, you cannot sleep at my condo. No, you cannot have friends over. No, you cannot study or watch YouTube or be on your phone while on duty. We use a lot of crazy things. Because clearly, they're out of their mind to think that somebody's going to invest that much time, provide all of that vegan organic food, pay for their own background check for the $100 they're offering, and maybe bumping it to $150 a week. This next one is by Terribly Simple Comics, titled, Draw My Brother's Dying Dog for Free, Retard. Hi, I saw your post about pet commissions, and I was wondering if I could get one. <laughs> also, what do you charge? Hey, and yeah, of course. I just say at least $6, so other than that, it's more or less up to you. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> I want to get one for my brother's birthday. You should charge more than 6 for work like that, though. <laughs> sure, and thanks. If you could send along some reference pics, that'd be great. And we should settle on a price. Um, about that. I'm sort of short on cash right now. No worries. Let me know when you're in a good financial position and we can sort out the commission. No worries. But not for free? I'm sorry, what? Come on, man. His dog Daisy is super old and is probably going to die soon. Are you really going to charge me for this memory of her? I said I'm short on cash. You just said I should charge more, and now you want me to do it for free? Sorry, but I personally think my prices are very reasonable, so I'm not budging away from them. Nonetheless, doing something for free. Wow. Okay, buddy, suit yourself. I'll go find someone better to do it for me. And tell Josh that some dipshit artist refused to draw his dying dog. Fuck you, kiddo. 
Retard. I like how the beggar got called out for pretty much telling the artist they should charge more than turning around and asking for free services. This next one is by Poseidon, titled, Choosing Beggars Says I'm Wasting Their Time Just Because I Don't Want to Make Them a Logo for Free. Your logos look sweet, bro. Fire. Can you make me one? For sure. They're $10, PayPal. What do you have in mind? Do it for fee? Yes, the fee is $10. Free? Here's some of my artwork, but I'm firm on $10. Then don't waste my time. You're kind of wasting their time by pretty much asking for a free handout. If you weren't asking for a free handout, your time and the artist's time would not have been wasted. This next one is by The Breakup 2013 titled Wife's Choosing Beggar Friend Begging for Clothes for Vegas Bachelorette Party Even Though They're Not the Same Size. Hey Blue, I have a favor to ask for Blink's Bachelorette next month. Can I borrow that black dress you wore, the the woman in business event last week, for one of our nights out in Vegas? Hey, I'd love to be able to help you out, but I'm planning on wearing that while we're out there. Can't wait for the trip. Come on, don't be stingy. I really need it. I don't have anything to wear. I'm sorry, it's one of my favorites, so I don't like loaning it out, and I'd plan on wearing it out there. Shaking my head. So rude. Well, do you have anything else for me to wear? Excuse me? You heard me. Don't you have anything else I can borrow for the trip? My suitcase is a little tight and I don't want to pay for an extra bag. Don't you already have stuff to wear? You know money is tight as a single mom. Plus, I love your clothes. Come on, throw something nice in for me. I'd love to help you out, but last time I lent you something, I had to ask for it for months and then pay you to ship it to me, and then it was all stretched out. What the fuck? Are you saying I'm fat? I'm just saying we might not be the same size any longer. I love your look, but don't you want something that fits? Fuck you. We can't all afford a pillow tin and membership to drop the baby weight. I know you and your husband both work. Hook me up. Didn't you just get a new Lexus? That's a lease. You know money is tight. Don't be a fucking f Well, you're pretty disrespectful. You're asking for somebody to do you a favor. Why would they do you a favor when you speak to them like that? Try to learn manners, try to learn respect, and maybe then people would try to help you out. This next one is an update to the previous one, also by The Breakup 2013, titled Update, Part 2, Wife's Choosing Beggar Friend Begging for Clothes. What the fuck, Blue? Red just called me and disinvited me from the bachelorette party in Vegas. What kind of lies did you spew to her? I didn't tell her anything. I simply showed her our text exchange and let her make up her own mind. Fucking bitch! I'm going to tell the everyone in the group what you did to me and can't be trusted. Your name is going to be ruined. Knock yourself out. I'll take the Pepsi challenge when it comes to seeing who picks sides with each of us in that group. Best of luck to you. Fuck your... your bad karma is coming for you. You'll be missed in Vegas. <laughs> I love that comeback. They got burned, they were trying to be disrespectful, rude, whiny to get their way, and then turning around getting disinvited from the exact thing they were having an issue with that they clearly needed help to attend in the first place. And then they want to go ahead and talk about karma, when karma hit them pretty instantly. This next one is by A Lot of Boxes, titled Pay Us $5 to Design Our New Shirts and You May Get a Free One. Contest time! Calling all artists, professional or amateur, help us design our next t-shirt. $5 entry fee. Deadline is February 29th, 2020. We will print a limited number of the winner's designs and the winner will receive a free shirt and bragging rights. Contest starts tomorrow, January 21st, 2020. Come by the shop anytime to grab an entry form. Money due when you turn design in. Good luck, artists! 
Wow, that sounds like a great deal. So you basically design a shirt for somebody to sell and make pretty much all future money off of your design, but you get a free shirt and get to say, hey, I made that shirt. Really great trade-off. This next one is by Lamanite, titled, Choosing Beggar on my friends list is angry that her underpaid babysitter is leaving for a better paying job. Babysitter gets tagged, words are exchanged. I am livid. Blank has been babysitting for me for seven months now, $100 a week. The hours are easy, 9am to 5pm, like a regular fucking job. And the kids are basically angels, they sleep most of the day anyway at this age. I get a text from her saying she's applying to Walmart and that she can't afford to work for me anymore. She's not paying me anything, I'm paying her. What do you mean afford? Have fun working longer hours for less pay, you ungrateful bitch. And now I'm stuck without childcare? All the daycares in my area are super expensive and every time I posted an ad on local buy and sell, people have left really mean comments. I'm getting desperate. I can't believe she'd put me in this spot. This is risking my livelihood. I thought she was my friend. I'm sorry, clearly that name is Karen, but blank working 40 hours a week at $100, that's $2.50 an hour. She'll be making more at Walmart, that's just the truth. With the taxes she'll have to pay, this was all under the table easy money. Now she'll have to have a real grown up job and I bet she'll learn to regret it. She should feel ashamed leaving me high and dry. Girl, is this true? I blocked her. She won't be able to see this. I don't need her in my life anymore. <laughs> no, you dumb bitch. You did not block me. I could see everything you wrote. I will make way more money working less hours at Walmart without your whiny kids that scream half the day. Plus the job has benefits. Taxes won't drive my earnings down to $2.50 an hour. Your math is wrong. I tried to work for you as long as I could, but when I saw your new Lexus and asked for a raise and you said you couldn't afford it, I saw right through you. You're using me for cheap labor because I am, was, a friend. I refuse to not be valued. My labor has worth and I deserve to not struggle financially. I worked a good long 9 months for you, yes 9, not 7 because 2 of those months were unpaid. But I refuse to continue this cycle. You are rude and entitled. Your kids deserve better. Listen here, bitch. The Lexus is a rental. I could afford to pay you a little more, but for what? Watching over two sleeping babies and twiddling your thumbs? Forget it. Have fun working as a cashier on your feet all day, getting yelled at by the manager for your shit attitude, and regretting the cushy job you had here, where you could watch TV all day and do your online courses using our Wi-Fi. Should I send you the bill for that? What about the water usage for when you stay over? Should I send you the invoice? I made you dinner for multiple occasions when you had to stay late. Should I send you the bill for that? I have been welcoming and you have been greedy. So much for a community and friends when all they want is cash. Fuck off my page blank. Good luck getting someone to work for pennies, bitch. <laughs> I love seeing this just completely degrade and devolve into just a pissing match. But you know what? The bottom line is the babysitter was clearly underpaid and they have a point. They're going to make more money and work less working at Walmart. And if you can afford to lease a Lexus, you can afford to pay your babysitter more. All right. That's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and have a great day.